Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I'm Captain 36 and last time, uh, we went back to the 10th floor and did a couple of quests and, uh, I forgot to go over some skills we unlocked, name, because I normally don't think of these because they're kind of bad. Warcry and I'm gonna cover Hellcry as well. Uh, as we get going to the third stratum, because we got to explore that still. Yeah, Warcry, and since it's just a more extreme version of Warcry, we're gonna cover Hellcry here now. About Lance Deck before we get into our Guilds of the Day. Uh, yeah, Warcry, yeah, both attack up buff that use the head, but come at the cost of defense, and in the case of Hellcry, it's stronger, but comes at the cost of health as well. So, both Warcry stats go for 20% defense down, and boost your attack by 10% for 2 TP. This raises to 3 TP, same defense lower, and a 35% boost, or 25, sorry, that reading Hellcry. That, no. Keep on. Uh, 25% attack boost and the same lower of 20. 4% less defense for 3 TP at level 5 and 1 max. Get a 40% attack boost for 10% less defense. Yep, it's the poor man's bravery. Put bluntly, it's a single target version of bravery that takes defense. Ooh. At the end of the walk area of Furries, there's a soldier who seems to be at his wit's end. Upon hearing you call, I'm starting to turn around joyously. Brad has got me here, out here mapping this floor. But I'm at the end of my rope here, I can't take another step. I'll give you what I've done so far. Maybe you could finish it? So it takes out a parchment and thrust it into your hands. Oh yeah, before I forget, my brother tells me there's a lot of pitfalls on this floor, and we're actually gonna need them to explore the, um... The twelfth! Oh. Watch your step out there, okay? I mean... Mean that. But you can protest the soldier's pens and walk away quickly, as if we haven't already found the pitfall. The terrified soldier's map in hand, you continue to floor. To the floor. How did you get there? How did you get there but not map the way there? See what seems to be a remnant of clothes under, under the plants in front of you. Oh, this is... Uh, I'm sorry, how did this guy lose his things when he died in several places? Not important. Like this encounter. <laughs> As for Hellcry, uh, at Eve, it has the same... Oh, no, it doesn't. It starts with plus 20% attack for the cost of 20% of your defense and 20% of your maximum HP. Broken Axe. Wait, so this was... No, the one has to be for that quest, right? Because I didn't recognize it from anything else, so it has to be. No way it's not. Uh-huh. No, I oh, yeah, I just kinda attack to save on cops a little. Also because we're strong enough to just kill the ant with an all slash. Okay. Anyway, continuing with how health right works, we have a door. My movement seemed that awkward, that's because I've been working with one hand. Well, I guess we're doing this now! Crap! So very much crap. Pawan and Immumon. I didn't think we'd be fighting something! Oh, must let an FOE right now. I guess I'll finish with Hellcry. Also, it's always the same cost as Warcry. 2, TP, and then 3 by level 5. Smite them! 
Uh, I'm not gonna bother setting up an elemental buff because let's be real, it's gonna die by next turn. Oh! Right, they cloned. Forgot about that. Anyway, at level 5, Kokrai is a 35% attack boost, as I started saying earlier. By accident. No, I don't want to. Playing one handed to read my notes. I gotta hold my phone. Well, actually, I suppose I could put it. Yeah, I don't use half the buttons on my laptop for setting stuff, so I should really think before I try to do stuff, because that's not gonna work. Because <laughs> this is gonna slide off. Uh, never mind. <laughs> this is the downside to not. Uh, please tell me that it's not gonna. Okay, it is going around. How did you not know the door? That was so useless. Oh, it didn't summon another FOE, it summoned the death in it. That makes sense. I'm not that stupid. Oh, uh, hi! Okay, well that's a really easy encounter. Anyway, if I could ever finish what I'm trying to say. Hellcry, when max at level 5, also decreases your defense by 18% and you'll lose 18% of your maximum HP from using it. And when maxed out, you get a 50% attack buff, which is the highest in the game, but it comes at the cost of 12% of your defense and 10% of your max health. Is that really worth it for something mildly better than bravery that you need to set up on the actual character you want it on and not a buff character who only starts to buff your party in that way. Not really. If the Ronin has shown us anything, the answer is no. No, that is not a worthwhile thing. I think this might be a pitfall. Yeah, I'd rather keep mapping this floor first. I'll go down there later. Maybe. Probably not. Should go to this same place? Yep. Take that guy out, nice and easy. That guy around the corner. And take these guys out. But yeah, uh, now that we've gone... Ooh, hi! Treasure! And Rita too! Okay, this was very worth our time. And not falling down that pitfall. So, uh, I guess we're gonna go on to the... Uh, I guess for lack of better term, uh, I guess kind of topic or class of the day. Class skills of the day. Because, uh, we're doing the Seagon stance from Ronin. The defensive one. You know... On the glass cannon class. Because you totally are trying to tank with a glass cannon. Oh my god, what were they actually thinking? 
in giving a defensive class to something without mounds dead. Or a mound here, looking closer and find rotten fields and broken sword. Rusted sword. Tomb the articles of closing left behind by the three deceased adventures. Oh, that's how they all died in different places. I feel like there was a better way to put that. But this is all from one dude. Ooh, that's the other thing we need for our other quest. And... Press every corner of the floor and create an excellent map. That'll be quite pleased to handle it. We're done mapping B12 as well. We turn to Rada and show the result. Not contained in the next floor in the second half of your time. So, I can't do this yet. The key is in this stratum. I'll let that much be known. So I don't want to spoil things, but I also want to be helpful. I don't know what's behind this door. Kind of downside of this game, because like, you never... Like, there's no, like, showing you where things are with the half-walls that other games have. Oh, crap. I might want to see if there's a shortcut to the beginning, because I'm pretty sure we need to come back. Actually, it's probably on the... Probably on the 12th floor that the shortcut... In fact, it is on the shelf floor. I remember that much. Uh, I'll use the cup lamb readers, actually. I I'm not that cheap that I won't use the lamb readers to keep me going. I'll regret using that many, because it's like half my massive supply gun. And also, we still haven't talked about the stand. And from Ronin for today's episode. Ah, uh, yeah, Shigon is the defensive one. It gives a slight. Yeah, slight is right. Attack boost. In fact, it starts at nothing. Zero attack. Attack increase in a 15% reduction of damage for 2 TP at level 1 for Shigon. This goes up to a 9% attack for 4 TP and 19% less damage taken. And maxes at 20% higher attack and 25% less damage taken. Not, not all that good. I'll put it bluntly, not that good. I'm pretty sure I remember these very well. If I remember correctly, these are all pitfalls, and this is the one. Oh. I think these are all identical. I'm all over. I know the hint is on the. Uh. 12th floor, because we'll, all of these will have a pitfall underneath, and one of them will not on the floor. On the 12th floor, so you know which one it is. I'm gonna see if any of these other doors have FOEs, because unless I have to, I don't really want to fight any of the FOEs. But, uh, to continue with our uh, Ronin skills of the day, Mariki, which just blocks all attacks for a turn and uses arms and the Shigun stance. You only need one point in it, luckily. And it starts at 10 TP, goes down by one every point. Okay, nothing in here. Gonna note that that ant is there. There is one in here. Not a hundred percent sure if it fits on the right or the left. I should be able to. Yeah, actually, I can probably just rush them a little to save on TP and save. At the cost of some cost of healing. Okay, I know it's one in the middle of you, I just don't know which. I'm going to save because I don't want to have to fight two.
to have defenders to the bravery multi uh boosted multi hit yes please and set up in the mud. Should be able to rush, yep, there it goes. Yeah! Okay, all the other ones are on the other side. This is how we get to the real fourth well. And also, how we get a nice checkpoint. Just a joke, yeah. A lot of damage. I don't remember what. Oh, nope, this is the way to this dead end. And draw. And yep, can rush through those encounters. We are really. St I don't think we can rush through this encounter. I don't think we can rush through two resistances. Two things that resist everything we can do is a bit much. But yeah, uh, to continue with the skills that we've been talking about, uh, Mariki, as I mentioned, uh, I'm not gonna lie, not that good! I mean, yeah, you take no damage, but... So? You don't... I, I, I legitimately don't see, like, not no use, but... Super limited use from taking no damage for its head. Like, the limit is of how useful that seems is you do not take damage if you're almost dead and you need to stall for healing. Other than that, it's kinda useless. Like, unless you were gonna guard, I guess? Like, how often do you guard except to skip turns faster? Or pass by to let an FRE move? Wall in a fight. Which, even still, how often do you do that? Well, with that out of the way, the next one is Koitenshu? Koitenshu? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. At one of the two. And it is the Miraba Abuti replacement where it's something that is. Not just a basic move, whereas Mariki is like a special exemption to being a weak attack. Act that each class gets. That's, a, that's fair, because uh, this move is hot garbage. It's a slashing attack with a chance at armbind. And it's not good. It, it's a frankly terrible move. Quite bluntly, it's not. It's not good. Just got jump scared by a block. <laughs> uh, yeah. So first of all, uh, let's go into the actual chance of the zombie that we're talking about on the scale. It is a twenty percent chance at level one, and it does one point three damage for four TP. That a does one point three. 3-4 for a 75%, this is not the right skill, does 1.34 for a 29% chance for 6 TP when level 5, and does 40% chance for 1.4 when max. Okay, never mind the fact of the other binding attack that work better, have higher chances. I'm pretty sure that's just as bad, if not worse than the chance on it. Might. I don't exactly remember what the damage on Smite is from... Oh, nope, it is a better chance. It's 20% higher, but... You also have to set up a buff that's mostly useless because it's a defense buff on a glass cannon. Based on defense, which, side note, defense buffs are bad. Despite damage mitigation being the thing. Because the boss we've been using do not raise our defenses, believe it or not. 
What they've actually been doing is lowering the damage we take. Which, believe it or not, is dramatically better. Like... Like, we have been reducing our damage, not raising our defenses. The buffs work a little weird like that, Immunize the Defender. So, it's... Not only is it a bad buff for a glass cannon, it's just bad in general. There's a reason why you don't really take shelter. For the skill. Love casting cell, though. We'll finish off this in just a moment. Welcome back, kids. Yep, this is Herodium, alright. I'll see that the client gets it. What kind of ring he's got in mind? Hope we get the peak before the proposal. Why just... I, mean, I guess he kind of handled the quest. Okay, well, remembering the fall and turn that in. He handed over the three comrades out of close. Welcome back. I'll make sure to get these to our client. Thank you very much. I understand that I and Roy eventually have gone to the Lambert's Mysteries, but looking at the things they left behind, I feel awful giving the quest like this. But it worked to save the lives of many people. So all I can do is pray you'll return safely every time you go down there. Trust me, you won't do anything stupid. Okay, kid. All that's left is the pretended treasure, which we are still not quite ready for. I think being like level 35, 40 is what we want. What do you have to say? Here, Brad, all we're like, we both got an extra and promised investigation lab. When the victors discover a new bees and objects, we are good to note their findings. Be great help to explore the echoes from the Green Babies as well. Okay, I guess. Well, uh, back to the Fred Stratum. And about that last attack for this. Rikaizu, the electric attack. Because Volt is what you get from this. You know. Debatably the worst element in the game. That is what you get. That is what you get for giving up the highest damage in this class and instant death. And taking the worst buff, arguably. I said it was Lai, or Itai, rather, last time. Yeah, I should probably just toss that into Google Translate and see what it comes out as. Might not be right, but it's probably better. A little more accurate. I just realized I didn't grab... I mean, not this, but I didn't grab more Amaritas. Oh, well, this is the wrong way. Take that guy out. Yeah. Rikaizu has the same arc as the last elemental attack. And the same damage as the last attack we talked about. 1.3 for 60p. And it has a 50% elemental damage. It then it becomes 10tp for 1.34 and 75%. It's 100% elemental. I don't know if that's the, like how much more you do for elemental damage or what, because these damage multipliers are low. But yeah, it's also 10 TP for 1.4 and 100% elemental. Yeah, not good! If not... Okay, I got jump scared by music. That's a new accomplishment. God, why am I... I need to pay attention, but I also need to read my notes so I can actually know what the skills I'm trying to talk about do. They're falling through the pit on the floor above. You sense a fer something ferocious about you. These prints in the mud and white mark and trees in the cages for an ant's nest. Exercise great caution as you venture forth. Like that may ants will appear. It just your passage through the floor. Anyway, here's the door. Mm -hmm. Hi! I didn't know you came this way. 
I know I could kill you, but I really don't feel like it. Uh, Braving. Other than maybe being a bad pun, that's not all that great. Albeit the pun is, uh, well, it exists. <laughs> I'll get that just as I double back. What is the point of this empty room? Come, cow. Is that better than literally any vanilla we have? Who can even equip it? Okay, can I equip it? No, maybe, no. Oh! Oh, that is just better than the red pen. Probably gonna replace the boots for that, though, because the agility is a little less important. Compared to the DP up we're getting from our red champ. Uh, I believe those guys have a very annoying pen, and we absolutely do have to fight at least one. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's several required FOEs down here. In fact, I'm actually gonna go with Smite. Bravery. Multi hit, and then Sound. Oh, that's not the greatest healing. I'm kind of got a little. Actually, I don't. I should say I got been playing after you know, to buy my own time. You respawned before I can even get to where you came from. What the heck? Multi-hit and then stealth again. I really should have not done that. Matter. Kill it. They also get attracted to your combat. Oh no, there wasn't some. I keep thinking it that bun comes up in like every game, at three inch game actually that I play. No, thank you. I don't feel like dealing with these guys. I might regret this very soon. Dang it. God, I hate these things' patterns, because I can never figure out. How do I actually sneak by? I think I actually need to fight here. I mean, I know I need to fight on this floor. It's one of the the annoying gimmick of this place. This floor in particular, not this whole dungeon. Thank flip it doesn't happen multiple times in this dungeon. It's only on this first floor you have required FOEs. In fact, I think it's that one that spawns these guys. Maybe? Oh, nope, nope, it's this one. It's it's the last one, and I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Well, regardless, I can't be bothered. Oh, boy. I don't think we even need to go that way and deal with more FOEs. I think we actually need to go up here. And we actually have a boss fight up here. 
in a shortcut. And another one. Into the Boston. As you reach a hidden area of Christmas tree opening in the sea of trees. By the way, a whole lot of insect species are here. Straining your eyes to see what the noise is coming from these guys. Gigantic ant! You realize the lamb that you've been, you've trespassed into S4's forest net. If you have to proceed, you have to do battle with the devil's ants, and... Battle with the devil's ants will be inevitable. Okay, okay. I, I know what it's saying. I'm just gonna outline this through real quick. I believe there is a way to skip this, but I'm not... Kind of, uh, and I also kind of want to show the fight we're supposed to do. But, um... Yeah, I'll not be back to do that uh, again. <laughs> this isn't... I don't even know why I went there! It's not like when I was playing EO5 and I had a skill. L to do that. Uh, I, that doesn't exist in that 3 and 5. Oh, at least if it does, I didn't bring the guy who can do that. Why do I keep trying to? Here's my boot. You have better armor. No one else can equip, okay. okay. That is actually better armor. For pretty much everyone? Yeah, this actually is better for everyone because that's vitality, which is defense, but unfinished. We're gonna upgrade our everything. I think this is just a- oh, I might have messed uh Yeah, I totally messed up that oak deck. It is definitely worth keeping on myself. So that kind of stuff, I did waste some money, but most of it was well spent. Because, yeah, that old deck of TP, definitely worth it to cast out a few more first turns. Don't believe there's any new first, yep, the Spandit Spreader, which... Not quite time for that. But, uh, it is time for it for me to buy a bunch more Amritas. Uh, the Hamato also- oh! I might have a couple Hamatos, and also a few more Amritas. Because the Hamato, I believe, has the equivalent of a Medica 2 and a Embrita 2, which is really good. But yeah, now it's time that we go fight the Ant Queen. I'm just... Actually, I'm not even gonna bother skipping ahead because it's not gonna take as long to get there. I highly doubt we're gonna take too much damage, so yeah. We're, we're just gonna walk. We're just gonna walk it. We're going to use quick save and go into the fight. The Royal Ant. I just realized we didn't get the thing for mapping the floor. Oops. We ain't done! Uh, I just realized what is this thing? I think this thing is weak to ice. Gonna double. Oh, right, I have notes. Why am I trying to remember off the top of my head? I made notes for this! I'm actually dumb. Royal Ant. No weakness. Never mind. Resistance, status effect, immunity, death. With the moves, Duster, which uses his legs and his low chance to blind the party. Crunch, which uses the heaven and his very heavy bash damage to an ally. Hammer, 
uses his arms for moderate bash damage four to five times on random targets. An ant or which uses its head and heals some health. And unless you brought a dark hunter, you don't have head buff. Okay, well, we're gonna do a normal combo. Set up an Apollon. So that's let that rain down a couple of turns. So now it's gonna do. it does with that combo. Okie dokie. <laughs> I didn't think we'd make it do that little damage. Oh, I didn't think we'd have that. Oh, that's long game. Oh, uh, is there any chance to stack additively and I'm an idiot? Nope. Well, I am an idiot. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang it. I was hoping it would maybe um, there would be an off chance that it actually worked like in EO5, or not 5, 3, and probably beyond. I don't know, I didn't bring the buff class in 5, but they don't have 4, where you can keep the buff going by adding on to the time. Uh, another Apollon. Everyone, just, I don't know if the fight ends when we kill the boss like it does in later games in the hut. So, uh, pray. <laughs> if not, it, it, it's not gonna be that bad. I think Yoda's gonna get the, yep. Oh, nope, fight doesn't end. There's no more ants. We defeated the Royal Land. And we can't go down yet because we haven't explored enough of the floor. If I paint this, does it count? Do I have to like walk over here? I, mean, I shouldn't have to walk over there because this. I mean, this isn't EO5, so I can't really compare like that. I do actually have to go over here, though, which is hella anticlimactic. Those are kind of out of TPs, I'm just gonna have to escape from all these Z. from all this VXP. I think that's the one that's causing us problems with these FOEs, but I'm not gonna take them out. Because I simply do not care. They're enough to. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, well. Now we defend for a turn. And now we try to escape. And I think we can now just draw the rest of this out. Let's see it. This is a pretty detailed map of the floor. Don't know how much more they want from me. That's why if I actually have to step on all these tiles, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, thanks, Flip! Did I have something on that last one? Keep thinking it does, but it might be just open. Nope, oh, it is this way. Box 11 times you find a large hole at your feet. Being that's of some kind, but nothing is emerging from there. You tip around the hole, let's never sleep there. Okay, so it's probably gonna be for a side quest.
and breathe at you. Nice. Get a nice taco though. We're already. Fun place. Buy in a thing spread. Sell some more of my flip. Stay the night to heal. Realize how long this episode's been going on for, and it's time to turn that request. Or the mission, rather. Uh, ex the expert's killed! I knew I could count on you, thank you for your hard work. You pioneered the late. You pioneered the late. You pioneered of late the reason for the labyrinth's existence. The serious creatures and epizarre structures seem to have no bottom. Suppose the labyrinth is formed naturally? I can't help but think there's a secret behind it. Personally, I believe that if the secret, whatever it may be, would greatly benefit Etria. However, the deepen takes a different view. It's a man of few words, but he was irrevocably a he in setting the mysterious mystery is best. Left alone. Stating, oh, I can't read. <laughs> Why would you be so sad against investigating the forest past this point? But I forget myself. I can speak to you of things. Thoughts like these are best kept private. At any rate, your map will be a boon to our researchers of the first random. I'd like to present you this to you with a token of appreciation. A decent thing to change while you're here. There's something else I want to bring up. Don't you set the fuck data on the layout of Fred's Strand, or it's seeing an unknown life deeper from the labyrinth. Raise are creatures that look almost human, but distinct from us in a variety of ways. If they speak true, it would be one of the greatest discoveries if yet me. Could we ask that you proceed even deep into forest and investigate the matter? Ahaha! Lurker in the rainforest! We've received word of a mysterious creature deep in the Observe research. Investigate the unknown life and report back to your findings. Do you accept then? Very good. Now let me give you guys the details. I mentioned earlier, there's a strange creature in the first time we are unable to reach. They seem to be a humanoid life form near to the forest. We may need to detail with them. For now, we're just going to our best have to work with Stephen. In the meantime, we want you to investigate the life form and report back with details. But beware of for there's no knowing if the life form will be spent with quality human. Well. Now we have that mission. And that's where we're going to end off today's episode, folks. I hope y'all have enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye